Now we take a couple of slides from a Microsoft report on big data and health with a relatively similar message to some of the other material we have. This, this slide here is tells us the type of data we can correlate. We have here the basic edit. Electronic medical records and the pathology images. So there's huge amounts of data here, the clinical data. Here we have all the data from the pharmaceutical companies and the bioinformatics university research and things like that. With clinical trials of particular um, drugs and things like that. Here we have the data from the insurance companies. And here we have actually the customized Non, not particularly medical patient data about um, what they do and how they do it and what they buy and things like that. And finally, we have some context data, such as uh, maybe whether they live in humid areas with lots of mosquitoes or what have you. So these are all data samples that can be correlated together in some giant machine learning package. And here are uh, some of the some of these highlighted social analytics. This is, of course, looking at the information from social media and correlating it with health. We can look at Twitter to see health information from Twitter. Um, so here we have um, the point that we can actually look at this data set. We have live data sets from Twitter on Google search and things, and that actually tells you better than many ways about new diseases, because those diseases crop up in search, people searching for anecdotes and for people tweeting about the, about the, the terrible things going on. And here we have the actual analytics, which are looking at uh, what happens when you treated data of a certain genetic type. Uh, how what the results were, and you compare that with what to you use that to deduce what to, how to treat a new patient with a with a related genomic uh, spectrum. 